Uh, so, Dave, we just finished our conference call. We haven't done a tabletop. Well, we do tabletops every single morning. Yeah. But we just haven't been recording them. That's right. But we get we get each other fired up. We plan. So, but we just finished a conference call. We, you know, our, our theme for this past year in 2023 was dominate. And I feel like we have done that despite yep. any adversities. We've just been I'm proud of our team. Our staff, our agent partners, just been a good year. You know, we were celebrating the fact that we're growing in December, having some of our biggest months, you know, during the holidays, which is just awesome. Yeah. But our our theme in 2024 as we're approaching the year is is we're gonna thrive. Yeah. And we want to help. We want to help more agents than ever hit six figures. Mm -hmm. um, just fired up about thriving. But one of the things that we were passionate about is identifying the biggest enemy of yeah. keeping people from doing that. Right, yeah, and, and for us, you know, we want to thrive. We had a great, great year in 23. What's the motivator and the fuel? And we don't, we want as many people to make six figures. We want to break all the records uh, that we've ever had. So how do we get people to do that? Well, we want to help people not to be average, right? In every aspect of their life. We want to excel. We want to go from, from, from being top producers to being the, the top 1%, the cream of the crop. If you're brand new in the business, we wanna make sure that you come in, you, you jump right into the system, and you can make more than you ever made before, yep. right? Because it's it starts with a goal, you, you follow that up with a plan and a strategy, and then you just follow through with a commitment of execution. And, and you keep the fuel in your body by, I don't want to be average anymore, right? And you don't have to be. It follows through the action and the commitment. And we have the strategies and the systems to help get you there. Yep. So one of the things we talked about is just the importance of elimination. You know, as, right. as we're reflect, reflecting back on yeah. the previous year, and we all should do this, you know, celebrating what, what are some things we did well. Yeah. Uh, what are some wins? You build confidence in that. But what are the things that are keeping us from moving forward? You know, when you got goals, oftentimes we got to eliminate things. You know, it's, right. the, it's the, like they say, the you know, good things that maybe are good, but keep us from achieving greatness. And so that's one of the things we talk about. Hey, what can we eliminate? Right. I mean, how important is that? Of if when you're when you're trying to level up and you and you want to thrive, how important is letting go of some of the baggage from the past? It's it's an essential piece to getting to the next level. <clears throat> every level that you get to requires another sacrifice, and a lot of the time, almost every single time, oh, I'll say this: I don't know of any time of leveling up that doesn't require. Letting something go, letting go of a habit, letting go of a uh, of a hobby. Right? Uh, we were talking with someone the other day. He's a million dollar guy who said, "I got my Sundays back." And when I got my Sundays back, I, I leveled up because instead of and what he meant was I was all over fantasy football, loved it. It was my it was the hobby, but it was Sunday, my day of rest. But when I got those days back, I started creating content. I started diving in and reading more. I added a book more a week. Uh, education so it automatically leveled him up simply by cutting one thing out that's how you get better you know adding one percent improvements each and every day and a lot of the time it's as simple as looking at it what can I cut out yep. and sometimes those are things that you enjoy but do they add value to your life no fantasy football is fun but it's not making you better in business it's not making you a better dad it may make you a better friend but is it the season of life that you need to be in, yep. right? If you want to make $100,000 or more and you've never done it before, there are a lot of things that you can cut out. That's the beauty. If you've never done it before, you have so much opportunity that you're not aware of simply by the process of elimination and adding value. You cut something out, you add something of value in. Just like I hear people all the time, oh, re uh, listening to a book isn't the same thing as reading a book. I couldn't agree with you more. But if you're not doing either, you're not getting any value in any shape or form. So listen to the book and read the book. But do like if you got a do ten something. minute commute, do something. Take action. To, you got to start making deposits into your life and not withdrawals out of it. Yeah. So. And what, what we had a leadership meeting with some of our guys this week, and one, one of the agents who's had a great year and been made, made done really well. But he was just saying, you know, it was accountability. And he said, look, he he had he had done something this past year, and it was coaching. A volunteering coach and they went to the state championship but he's you know he looked back and he said you know what he said he was, he was just reflecting on as we're talking about and you could see the the frustration because he didn't wreck you know but he realized he said you know while it was fun and all he said it cost me he said it, it cost him over fifty thousand dollars yeah because of the distraction and and how he lost momentum 
at, on the second part of the year. You know, you had so much momentum, it was doing a great, and then it just, that thing. And so sometimes, you know, the reality is when we have goals, we got to say, okay, what are we willing to give up to get it? You yeah. know, and that's, and that's what we're, you know, that's what we're doing. That's what we're ensur- encouraging people because we want to go to a whole new, we're going to thrive in 24. Right. All right. The enemy is average and we're right. going to take agents with us, but it's, it's a sacrifice. Right. Paying the price. Yeah. In order to get to where you want to go, you got to put a plan in. You got to know where you're going, right? You're going to know how you're going to achieve it. And then you got to start cutting things out. The enemy's average. So jump on board with us. Let's have the best year we've ever had and let's all thrive in 2024. Let's get it.